Hi there, Michael Bobby with Consumer Recovery Network and welcome to our Debt Bites YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about how debt buyers are different from different debt collectors or the most common types of debt collectors. So listen, um, debt buyers are taking a risk. They're investing perfectly good money to buy up the legal right to collect on debts that haven't been paid. So it's risky. In the way that they make profit is, is on the purchase, right? So they have to buy these bulk amount of unpaid debts at a good enough price and then be able to collect on enough of them to turn a profit. Sometimes when they're collecting, their goal isn't necessary to collect on the full balance. They already know that settlement and negotiating a lower balance payoff is built in. And that's not always the case with a common debt collector or your bank who's trying to get you to pay the full balance right out of, you know, from the very first effort to try and turn your account around. Or once you're with an outside third party debt collection agency that say works for your credit card bank, um, their first demands could be, hey, give us all the money, pay us in full, pay us in full. Whereas a debt buyer might start off with your first interaction could be, hey, we're, we're offering you a discount. We'll, we're willing to accept less. And that's like their opener. So just that alone is a difference maker. There are some attributes to a debt buyer, and it will depend on the debt buyer, that can change depending on what kind of debt they bought and or how old the debt is when they buy it. So let me break that down. When, and I'm going to stick to credit cards here, when your bank sells a bad debt, one that hasn't been paid, and usually they're going to do that no earlier than, say, six months of, of non-payment. So after they charge it off for accounting purposes, then they're going to you know, bundle those up and sell it off. If they sell that off, it's worth more to a debt buyer because it's recent. And the debt buyer might try and work those a little differently than, say, debts that were sold a year after payment stopped, or 18 months, or 24 months, or <laughs> definitely they're gonna have a different attitude if they bought the debt after it hasn't been paid for say three years, okay? Because the longer a debt has gone unpaid, statistically they know the less likely they're gonna be able to collect on the bulk of that debt or that they're gonna be able to collect as much on each account. So you tend to see the purchase prices uh, much lower. I've seen prices as high as 18 cents on the dollar for fresh charge off debt years back. And I've seen accounts get purchased for less than a penny on the dollar. And, and those variables apply, uh, how old it is and everything, who they're buying it from, types of debt. So when a debt buyer is just getting your account, you need to factor in sometimes, not all the time, how old that debt is into how you target negotiating or resolving the account if you're even trying to. Because a lot of folks watching this video might be looking up information about debt buyers because one's appearing on your credit report and you're not even sure why or who they are it's possible and actually highly likely that it's related to an account that went unpaid. Um, you just don't recognize the name. It could have been an account sold by a credit card bank, um, a, a repossession on an auto loan uh, that you turned in because you couldn't afford the car anymore. Um, medical debt actually can be purchased. Um, debt collectors, when they pick up accounts, sometimes won't even appear on your credit report. It's the original creditor. So sticking with the credit card theme again, let's say um, Capital One charges off an account and places it with a third party collection agency. Capital One still owns the debt. They're just sending it out for a collection agency to try and get you to pay through calling you and, and writing to you. Versus when they sell that off, then Capital One's still going to appear on your credit report as an unpaid collection account charged off, but once they sell it, it's going to have a zero balance on it. So the debt buyer may or may not show up right away, but the debt collector probably won't. So Capital One's reporting, the third party collection agency isn't. You may not see a collector show up on your credit report if you can resolve the debt with your original creditor, then you only have to deal with one bad entry. Whereas if you have the bank's bad entry and a debt buyer picks it up and, put, and puts it on your credit report, you're now dealing with two bad entries. So, and, and let me be clear here about credit reporting. I'm a huge fan of trying to negotiate the lowest possible payoff you can to save money, but do not make your credit or how they're going to update your credit report part of your dialogue. The reason is, is that you're tipping them off that you have a goal. You shouldn't because a debt buyer who's on your credit report has a liability. They have an obligation. They have to 
report or update your credit report with current, accurate, up-to-date information. And once you re resolve the debt, you settle it with them, they're gonna, they have a requirement to do that. So it's going to show up as resolved or zero balance owed. And that's often all you're going to be able to negotiate if you brought that into the conversation anyway. So I suggest skip it. There is no such pay for delete often with debt buyers. They're not going to go there. Most of the large ones won't even entertain that thought. So and keep that off of the table and let it happen You know, because of the fact that the, you resolved the debt, you settled it, because it will. And if it doesn't, it's real, real easy to fix, because of course you're gonna get documentation. I always recommend that you not pay a penny towards a collection account unless you have everything documented up front first. So some of the other ways that debt buyers differ is, is that they may not be collecting their own debt, okay? Um, two large debt buyers in the United States currently at the time I'm recording this video are uh, Portfolio Recovery Associates and Midland Funding. When those debt buyers are involved in collecting from you, they're usually using their own internal resources. They have their own collection floors. Actually, they have some in country and out of country. Whereas, say, um, somebody like LVNV Funding, which is part of Resurgent or Sherman Acquisitions, they purchase up debt and they send it out to outside third party debt collectors. So it's sometimes name recognition is impossible, right? So you see LVNV Funding on your credit report, but you're hearing from you know, allied uh, interstate uh, trying to collect on an LVNV. And you're like, well, who are these guys? How are they connected to these guys on my credit report? And who's LVNV tied to over here having purchased my old Citibank account or something like that? So it is kind of a thing where you have to follow the rabbit trail and know some of the names. We cover a lot of the debt buyers, um, the big ones anyway, in dedicated videos here on our YouTube channel. I cover most every uh, significantly sized debt collector and debt buyer on the consumerrecoverynetwork.com website. So you can do a search there as well. And we have ongoing discussions. The comments are open here. We answer all of the comments on our YouTube channel. So if you're dealing with a debt buyer and you're not sure what your next step should be, what your targets should be in negotiating with them, or you have having trouble connecting the dots with all of this stuff that happened on your credit report, um, and that's your focus and your goal, well, we can help you. Uh, we know who all the major players are and how these sometimes these things connect to each other. So post a little bit more about your situation in the comments below and I'll be able to answer that for you. I'm going to have more videos coming up on the debt buying topic. Um, I have one coming up. I just did one for Midland Funding, the largest debt buyer in the country. And I have another one coming up for Portfolio Recovery. And I'll start to target more and more of the debt buyers in upcoming videos. So be sure and subscribe and get those updates. Talk to you on the next video. Thank you.